These are six awesome trailblazing black women in science that I didn't know about before I got this comment. Mathematician Katherine Johnson was one of the first African-American women to work as a scientist at NASA. Her calculations of orbital mechanics were critical to the first crewed space flights, including but not limited to the flight of Alan Shepard, the first American in space, and the Apollo moon landing program, and the start of the space shuttle program. She was literally a genius. She graduated high school at 14, graduated college magna cum laude at 18, and earned her respect at NASA. When NASA first used computers to calculate John Glenn's orbit around the Earth, Glenn refused to fly it unless Johnson verified the calculations. Alice Ball was a chemist who developed the early 1900s most effective treatment for leprosy, called the Ball Method. Before her, people with leprosy were highly stigmatized, isolated, and expected to die. The best treatment was Chalmugra oil, which comes from the Chalmugra seed of the Chalmugra tree. But there was a lot of problems with it. It was too sticky to be used topically, and it was too viscous to be injected. And if you injected it anyway, it would ball up under the skin, form blisters, and not be absorbed. And it tasted so bad, the patients who tried to swallow it usually vomited it up. At the age of 23, she was the College of Hawaii's first woman and first black person to graduate with a master's. And that same year, she developed a technique to make Chalmugra oil injectable. But she died at the age of way too damn early at 24 before she could publish a paper on it, and real quick, guess what happened? The dean of the college knew of her work, took it over, published about it, and didn't acknowledge her at all. And the first mention of Ball's work came six years after her death in 1922 when she was briefly mentioned in a journal article. Dr. Patricia Bath was an American ophthalmologist and humanitarian and was the first of so many things, including being the first African American to serve as a resident in ophthalmology at New York University. And she was the first African American woman to serve on staff as surgeon at the UCLA Medical Center. She authored over a hundred papers and lectured internationally. She was the first black woman doctor to receive a patent for medical purposes and got five patents altogether. She was also the first person to show in a scientific paper that black people have a higher rate of blindness. And another paper of hers showed that black people are eight times more likely to have glaucoma as a source of blindness. Dr. May Edward Chin was a pioneering physician and the first African-American woman to graduate from the NYU School of Medicine. When she graduated, no hospital would give her practicing privileges because no hospital would allow black people to serve residencies. When Harlem Hospital finally accepted her, she was the first black woman to intern there. She was a strong advocate for early cancer screenings. And in her private practice, she would treat black patients who couldn't receive care at white institutions. And she maintained that practice till the age of 81. Dr. Jane Hinton was one of the first two black women to receive a doctorate of veterinary medicine. And she co-developed Mueller-Hinton agar, which is a culture medium commonly used to test bacteria susceptibility to antibiotics. Her dad was William Augustus Hinton, the first African-American professor at Harvard and the first African-American author of a textbook. Later on in her life, she ran a small veterinarian practice in Massachusetts. Physicist Dr. Shirley Jackson was the second black woman in the United States to earn a doctorate in physics. Also the first black woman to earn a doctorate in MIT in theoretical particle physics. I mean, she was also the first black woman to earn a doctorate at MIT in any field, but... In 1995, Bill Clinton appointed her to serve as chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. She was the first black person to serve in that position. Thank you, Kimberly, for your comment. It was cool to research these amazing women.